morning, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. Yesterday, we were in Tupelo, Mississippi, visiting Elvis's birthplace. I thought it was only fitting to do a rags to riches story. So today, we're off to Memphis. We're going to Graceland. We found it, Elvis Presley Boulevard. Whoa, our first sign. Well, Graceland looks a whole lot different than I expected. A whole lot different than you see on TV. <laughs> I'm kidding. They have you come to like a guest center first where you buy your tickets, which I've already bought. I went ahead and bought the Elvis VIP package because I figure if I can never see him in concert, this is the closest thing I'll ever get. So let's just splurge. So we got ours and then they shuttle you to Graceland. So with the VIP package, you pretty much get everything, including all the airplanes, all the cars, everything in Graceland, special exhibits in Graceland, the whole shebang, baby. Ow! And there's my special VIP lanyard. Since my Instagram profile is currently Waylon Jennings and Buddy Holly inside one of these, I'm gonna get inside the Elvis one. I put Elvis in the middle, and there I am. Some with the glasses, right up there, and then with the camera, with my pass. Yeah, fun times. It's kind of an ironic policy considering where we are and whose house we're at. I have a couple of minutes before my tour starts, so I'm just checking out a little bit of the gift shop. It's amazing. I already know for sure I'm gonna get one of these shirts on my way out. Are you kidding me? Got my audio guide. Here's our shuttle, let's roll. All right, let's acknowledge for a second that we are in Elvis's private inner sanctum. The greatest entertainment of all time. I mean, even though 20 million people have been here before us, I still feel like a guest. This is just too cool. Now, the stairway, they say everything upstairs is off limits because that's the way Elvis kept it when he had guests. He always kept that off limits, so they keep it that way out of respect for him. Now, that's as soon as you turn around when you come in the front door... And I started laughing because on the audio guide, they, Lisa Marie is saying right here, her dad loved to do karate moves in the front of the <laughs> opening of the doorway. And she could always hear him coming because he was jingling with all the jewels and everything coming down the stairs, and all the gold and everything he was wearing. Now this is the living room. As soon as you walk in the front door and turn to the right, this amazing room is that. Now that picture of Elvis was around what he would have been when he bought the house. And those are his parents below. Yeah, I love that little uh, statue of him there. I want to show you guys as much detail as I could just because of how beautiful it is. You almost can see Elvis sitting right there on that couch, can't you? With his feet propped up. There's this white grand piano, and I noticed there's a TV everywhere. Elvis loved his TV, and he always had one positioned wherever he was sitting that he could see it, which I thought was great. <laughs> and that's a view out the front window from the living room. And then that is from the back corner, kind of giving you a full view of the whole house. Well, the whole living room. And then that, I just, that's as close as we get to the upstairs, and I just kept thinking about that. There's a great picture of Lisa Marie right in the doorway of the house. And then this is where we started, so we're going to go right down the hallway. And there's the chandelier above us. I just liked all the details. Now, that was his parents' room when his mother and father were alive. And then when his, and there's a picture of Elvis. And when his mother died, Vernon moved out and Elvis's mom, Minnie, or grandmother, Minnie, moved into this room. And you can still see some of the clothes in the bathroom. And I tried to really get close so you could see all the detail. This room, they said, was really unchanged. Now that wallpaper was uh, poodle designed. It was either designed by his grandmother or mother. I believe it was his grandmother. Yeah, Minnie. Look at the purple bathroom. And then that's a view into the, the closet. You can kind of see. We already saw through the window. And then a little bit closer of the bed. And you can see there are pictures of Elvis everywhere. They would have been like that then. Now we're walking back in where we started. And we're going to go into the dining room. Now, at the very, very far end of the table, they said, is where Elvis liked to sit. And they said that this table, when Lisa Marie is in town, her family still eats at that table. That was Elvis's seat. And the reason he sat there was he had the best view of the TV that was down at the end of the table. 
Like I said, he loved his TVs. <laughs> so yeah, she says they use it whenever they're in town and the dishware and everything is, I believe they said it was Elvis and Priscilla's wedding china. And then of course there's Priscilla and Lisa Marie as you start walking towards the kitchen area. The tour moves a little slow, so I was trying to get every angle of the house. And then this was kind of a view back where Elvis was sitting towards the TV. And now we're entering the kitchen. And Lisa Marie says, this house always had people and they were always awake. So there's always somebody in the kitchen working. There was never a dull moment in here. And it was kind of cool to see all the old appliances and everything and how, how it's all just trapped in time. Even Elvis's old security system showing the front gate. <laughs> and look at these old, yeah, look at that. Look at that old oven, the old appliances. It cracked me up because my grandpa has very, very similar stuff to that. And think of how many peanut butter and banana sandwiches and meals would have been cooked in there for Elvis. Now as you're walking out, you get a glimpse of the jungle room. But we see that a little bit later as we're coming up from downstairs. We'll get a really good view of it. But what a room, huh? And those are the light switches. I just thought they were so old school that I wanted to show you guys. Now we're going downstairs. This is where the real fun begins. <laughs> because Elvis has these horns all over the house. He really loved those. And now we're walking. This is um, his rec room and his entertainment room. And there's the bar. And you can see he has three TVs because he heard the president had three TVs tuned to all three news networks. So he had three TVs. And look at that, you can see the TCB lightning bolt on the wall. <laughs> look at the monkey on the table with the ashtray. Classic. Yeah, that was, that was total Elvis, the TCB, taking care of business in a flash. Now the three TVs, they said he would have sports on, news on, and whatever else on. He always liked to have three TVs on. And there's his 45 collection, some of his records. And of course, like I said, you just saw animal horns all over the place. <laughs> so we're turning around and we're walking back out the way we came in past this bar and look at all the little knickknacks and stuff. There was all kinds of cool stuff, clowns and everything. Now we're, this room was amazing, his game room. And they show you on the pool table where somebody tried a trick shot and ripped up the, the felt and they never repaired it. But I took a lot of pictures in here because there was so much detail. Every time you looked, you thought you were missing something else. And it was just so Elvis and so over the top that I just, I loved it to death. Corduroy chair looking deal. Yeah, pretty crazy. Great art. <laughs> and then here you can see his pool cues and a lounging hangout area for him and his buddies. And I mean, you could have stood in there for half an hour and still not seen everything. There was just so many little details. Look, a crystal ball. A lot of things in there would just crack me up. I'm like, that was so Elvis. You know, just a little bit of everything. No real particular style to it. Just all Elvis style, which is what made him cool. Now we're leaving, and this little hallway, there was only one painting in there. So I showed the painting, and it leads us into the jungle room, which cracked me up because the walls and everything leading up to it are all carpeted. <laughs> and it's the original carpeting, of course. And you can even see that some of it has been worn out over time. And there's all kinds of wear all over the house, which is great. That's what you want to see, I think. I mean, it, it just shows Elvis lived there. Elvis used it. Yeah. Now, take a look in the game room. They said that he, um, he used to use this a lot for entertaining. And, in fact, at one point would record in there. So the acoustics were really good. They, they really took care of deadening the sound for recording. Look at that. Pretty extreme, but I loved it. That chair on the far end, Lisa Marie said she, that was her favorite chair to sit in. And then I just loved all the detail on the chairs. Look, he had these carved chairs with the carved arms. And I love that ashtray because my grandpa still has ashtrays like that around his house, even though he doesn't smoke. And there's a close-up of the chair that Lisa Marie loved. It was like a circular chair. Yeah, there was like a, a fountain at the bottom of that, like a little waterfall. Very nice. And more horns. And that's the original carpeting. Look at that. And they said that that's why he had carpet on the ceiling was for the recording. What a room. I would have loved to just sat down in there for a minute. But we move on. On to Vernon's office. Now we're walking under the carport. 
and towards Vernon's office in the carport, Elvis kept all of his toys. The jet skis, the wave runners, the golf carts, the motorcycles, the cars. And here's a view of the outside of the house that we were just in. And me <laughs> viewing the in front of the house that we were just in. And I showed this because I just it just reminded me that we couldn't get up there because that was Elvis's private sanctum. Lisa Marie's playground. Her little swing set. Kind of cool that this is still there. Now we're going into Vernon's office. And this is an office that they basically did all the house business out of. Vernon paid all the house bills, took the mail, received checks. They really ran a lot of like the operations out of here. And you can tell they got a lot of fan photos and fan paintings and all kinds of memorabilia sent to them from fans to this office. Very cool. They had it converted, obviously, because this was an old ranch house. Now, as you move on, they have a little model of Elvis's birthplace. And then I laughed when I walked in here because it says, This building was part of Graceland Farms and Elvis, when Elvis owned Graceland. It was possibly used as a pump house, but Elvis decided it would make a good firing range, and that's what he would use to shoot for a period. So they had three logs there with his target, and then they show that these casings they found um, around the, uh, the wood and everything paneling from the time Elvis was firing away. That's so awesome. <laughs> and then they said he used it for storage after that. So there's like some bikes hanging up there, an old uh, boat motor from Sears. Yeah, just basic, basic needs for storage. Now we're going to the trophy building, which is really cool because I think it used to be like a guest house kind of um, idea. I forget exactly what they said, but they were showing, I was showing you that because Elvis used to like to ride his go-karts around the grounds and he used to play, to play football right here with his buddies. Touch football games. And they even had uh, pads and helmets and stuff. So it got a little rough. And then this is just showing where Elvis liked to ride his horses. And they had signs everywhere telling you not to go past those gates. Because by Tennessee law you have to be an equestrian to be in that area. So Elvis would have been riding around there all the time. Now there's Elvis's birth certificate. In the trophy room, they had all kinds of interesting stuff, and this was just the start of it. Elvis's actual birth certificate. And then the Presley Family Bible. We know how important that was to him. Now, this was interesting. It was Vernon's pay stubs because Vernon, you know, didn't make that much, and the family really struggled. So it was interesting to see what kind of money he made and the time period he would have worked and where he worked. Yeah, you can see Moss Point. Now this is Elvis's childhood. This are, these are his crayons, his report card from 7th grade. It's kind of neat to see something Elvis would have colored with. And then to see his grades. Gloucester Street Junior High School. Now this was a display for his parents, some of their items. And you can see there his mother Gladys's dress. And I assume they picked that because she probably wore it quite a bit. And there's Vernon's pants, his work pants. And then Elvis's mother's jewelry box. Think of how many of those Elvis would have bought. And then Elvis's high school diploma. Yep, he graduated. Now this was awesome. I got really excited. His keys to Graceland. How about that? Yeah, I had to get real close. Too cool. Now this was one of Elvis's wallets. We see another one later in the VIP room. And then this was the deed to Graceland when he bought the house, when he bought the property. It was called Graceland before he bought it. The original owners called it that, and he bought it in an auction. So he never changed the name, but you would think he would have named it that. That's an, that's an Elvis type thing. There's a letter from Hedda Hopper for him making a $1,000 donation that we find out later in other videos that he does a lot of $1,000 donations to charities. And there's a gift from RCA for 50 million records sold. Nice high five back then. And they even put a little plaque on top, which I thought was kind of a nice touch. Now this was awesome. Elvis and Priscilla's wedding clothes, their wedding gowns. We know that whole story from the honeymoon. You know, sweet, we were there. There's a bottle of champagne. How they were going to get married in Palm Springs and then had to be ushered off in Frank Sinatra's private jet to get married in Vegas and then come back. But it was just so cool to see what they actually wore when they were such a happy couple and so in love. Yeah, this was a real great moment. I, I really enjoyed this part of the tour. 
And then we'll see more of this when we go around the display, but there's Lisa Marie's crib. And then this was Elvis's upstairs office, and it said the desk and furnishings are from his upstairs office. The books you see are from his library. And Lisa Marie said she could remember always seeing him reading. He always had books stacked up by his bed and everywhere he was. And it says the desk was given to Elvis by RCA and is equipped with a radio, TV, and 8-track that was state-of-the-art for the day. We'll see more of this when we go to the other side of it. And what a great painting. Elvis and his Lisa, he called her. His Yisa. Now, they mention here that Graceland was always remodeled. Elvis loved throughout his time living there to change things up, and this was something that was in the house during the mid-70s, this decor, and um, he would always plan redecorations, and he would have a heavy hand in them as well, as you can imagine. Yeah, more, more of the animal fixtures. Now, this was really cool. A scarf from Elvis to Lisa when she was a little girl. I thought that was so cool. And and it says Yisa because sometimes he would call her Yisa with a Y. I love my Lisa, Daddy. 1972. And then this is Elvis's gun collection. We get to see a few of his guns and his love for guns. And I thought this was great because they showed a lot of the badges, how he, he everywhere he'd go, they would honor him as being like an honorary sheriff or police officer. And he loved to collect those things. So there's one from L.A. that probably somebody just gave him right off. And then this was the uh, the famous narcotics badge that he was given. Elvis in Cleveland. Yeah, what an honor. And then this was his state of Colorado um, crime strike force badge. There's one of his Berettas. I believe that's a Beretta. Hot looking gun, huh? And then it shows just that when he was a kid, he had a love for the guns too. So nothing new. Now we're back in his office and you can kind of see the, what luxury he would have sat in. There's some of his books and a picture of Lisa Marie on his desk. And then I thought that was great. The penalty of leadership because he was always a consummate leader. And then Lisa Marie's crib and bas basically her, her nursery. And the back of Elvis and Lisa, or, uh, Elvis and Priscilla's wedding clothes. This was really the only shocking part of the tour for me. Everybody said, you'll be shocked at how small Graceland is. But I was really just shocked at how small the pool really was. And I didn't realize I was so close to the end of the tour. But yeah, this was uh, much smaller than I anticipated. Now we're heading off to his sports complex, which was really a racquetball area. And um, they said he developed a love for racquetball and then oversaw it. And, um, well, as you can see here, um, he enjoyed the sport so much that he had his own court built, a personal sports complex with weight training on the ground floor, full-size racquetball court and jacuzzi and dressing room upstairs, $200,000, and he personally oversaw the whole construction. Really cool. There's a nice pinball machine in there, and this really was one of those moments where I was like, you could totally see Elvis hanging out here. I mean, it's just like, it's so him. A bar inside of the racquetball area. I thought that was so cool. And a piano for the hangout. And then, of course, me. I had to take a picture in there. I was having so much fun. And that, you know, come on. But then this cracked me up because I looked down and saw a water fountain, pushed the button, and saw it still worked. And I said, how often do you get to take a drink out of Elvis's water fountain? And I was thirsty, so I did. And there's the racquetball court. I wonder how much jewelry he was wearing when he was playing racquetball. And there's his racquetball. Uh, a racket, sorry. <laughs> and there's a view of what, what you could have seen from inside there. Now we're going to the meditation garden, also known as where Elvis is buried. And I was just thinking, you know, I wonder if he knew that he was going to be buried out there when he was riding those go-karts all around this. And I was just taking in the scenery. I knew I was pretty much to the end of the tour and I was kind of getting bummed out. Even though it was such a great tour, I was just, you know, I didn't want it to end. I felt like I was a guest in Elvis's house. And that was a nice thing to end on.
There he is. Here we're supposed to leave a quarter, but I have a uh, a dollar bill frog that has been like a good luck charm for me for a while. I'm ready to get rid of it, so I'm gonna give it to Elvis instead. Probably do him more good anyway. And there was his grandmother. <laughs> well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed our trip to Graceland today. They don't allow any video inside so I hope you enjoyed the photo show and there will be more to this because as I mentioned at the beginning of the vlog I did purchase the museum pass that gives you access to all the vehicles and everything and some extra exhibits so we'll get that. have a great night everyone and goodbye well I was gonna wrap up the vlog and then they told me oh you can't even film anywhere past the gates so I stopped recording and I'll just come out here and end it at the gates then I wanted to show you the gates anyway a lot of people that come here and sign that the whole wall is covered all the way down well thank you Jim Page Michelle Corbin and Bob Daub for making contributions to my channel and we'll see you all tomorrow mm -hmm.